All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about electric vehicle tax credits that are available for starting in 2023. Now, the U.S. government passed the Inflation Reduction Act in August of 2022, and a lot of those tax credits don't even start until 2023. So I want to go through that, especially I own, I own uh, two Teslas, two electric cars. I have three electric vehicles with like reservations or orders on, uh, pending. And I'm also considering buying another one that could potentially be delivered in 2023. So I've been doing a lot of research on this topic because I want to make sure that the vehicle I buy qualifies for the tax credit and that I personally qualify because it's not just every electric vehicle gets a tax credit. You have to, your situation is different and then the vehicles may or may not qualify. So let's get into the details and let's go through to see how this works. Okay, the first part's gonna be for new electric vehicles. So starting in 2023, January 2023, you buy a new electric vehicle, there's a tax credit of up to $7,500 as a tax credit. Tax credit basically reduces your tax bill to the government by $7,500. Now, if you make, if your tax bill, or the, the tax liability, the taxes you owe are less than $7,500, well, you only get up to the amount that you owe. So let's say, in 2023, you owe your tax liability is $5,000. Well, you would only get $5,000 of the $7,500. You don't get the full $7,500, okay? It's also not a refund. There's no carryover to the next year. So if you only use part of it in 2023 when you buy the vehicle, it's not gonna carry over to the next year. So it's kind of like use it all when you buy the vehicle or lose it. The vehicle can only qualify for it one time. And one thing I also learned is a a, a joint couple that are let's say let's say like me and my wife we buy a vehicle if we buy it together then we only qualify for one tax credit but we can buy two two vehicles separately and get two tax credits if we buy two electric vehicles that qualify during the year so that was interesting so that's why I might buy one vehicle my wife might buy a vehicle I might buy a vehicle and we could get up to fifteen thousand dollar tax credit now this goes for the next 10 years, starting in January 2023 all the way to December 2032. So there is a 10 year span and the requirements for the vehicles are gonna get tighter and tighter as time goes on. So they're the, they're the, they're the loosest standards right now. And a lot of the, 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 the standards revolve around the vehicle, where it's made, where it's manufactured, how it's manufactured, and where the battery components come from. And so over the years, those requirements of how much the battery components that are made in America have to be made in America, and it, so the vehicle may or may not qualify. So not every electric vehicle is going to qualify for this tax credit. Now, in the future, probably starting in 2024 is what we're reading, that this tax credit would be available through the dealership you're buying it through. Right now, it's just going to be a tax credit you, that you take when you do your taxes at the end of the year. In the future, most likely 2024, you're, you're going to be able to get this at the dealership. So that means they're going to be able to take $7,500 off of the car if you qualify, the car qualifies, and then you wouldn't have to wait to get refunded or credited that amount when you do your taxes. So that's the, that's to come in the future. Let's talk about the eligibility. So your personal eligibility. Not everyone is going to qualify. Now there's no income minimum that you have to make to qualify, but there is a maximum, and these maximums are listed right here. So it's your modified gross income. If you file a joint tax return, it cannot be more than three hundred thousand dollars. Head of household, if you file head of household, $225,000, an individual tax filer, you cannot have more than $150,000 of modified gross income. If your income is going to be above those amounts, you don't qualify for the tax credit. So, so it's worth it. If you're going to be close, to, if you're close to these numbers, it's worth it to try to make your income under these numbers because you get $7,500 off the, off the car you're looking at. So if you're, if you're well over these numbers, there's no need to even you know consider this because it doesn't apply to you. All right, let's talk about the MSRP of the vehicle. I wanna reiterate, this is for new vehicles. The, the used vehicle uh, tax credit works a little different. We'll get into that in just a minute. So the MSRP of the electric vehicle is a limiting factor as well. So an SUV, van, or truck cannot have an MSRP more than $80,000. So that's something to consider. Like for example, I have an I have an order for a uh, Hummer SUV. The it's not the first edition; it's like the second edition one, and it's probably in the ninety thousand dollar range. I might downgrade that order to the lowest trim to get it to the seventy nine. I think the lowest trim is around seventy nine thousand dollars to get it under that. So that way, if I take delivery of that vehicle, it would qualify for the for the tax credit. 
So that would make it more, more affordable there. All other vehicles, $55,000. These are like sedans, hatchbacks, small, smaller vehicles. But the um, SUV, like the Tesla Model Y, I bought a Tesla Model Y in August of 2022. Had I waited till 2023, it would have qualified. One thing that's interesting with this, with this number, for example, a Tesla Model Y base price is under $80,000. But if you start adding on options and you add on the enhanced autopilot or full self-driving, which is $15,000 more, it's going to get it above that. So you want to be careful when you're adding options onto a vehicle that has a lower, lower base price than this so that you're not over that if you're expecting the tax credit. So something to consider. So not only does your income and the MSRP of the vehicle have a consideration, but also where the vehicle is made, where it's assembled, and the components and the country of origin of the components of the battery have something to, to consideration. So there's many electric cars that are made overseas, outside the United States. Those are not going to be eligible for this tax credit. Now let's talk about the used EV credit because if you buy a used one, it is eligible. There's, there's a, it seems like there's more requirements on the used side than there are new, and let's get into this. So for used EV, the car must be, the vehicle must be at least two years old. So that's kind of a, the, min, the, the minimum age. It has to be at least two years old. Also, this is a big one here. $25,000 is the maximum purchase price of the vehicle. So if, the car, if you buy a vehicle that's $30,000 used from a dealer, not going to qualify. It has to be under $25,000, less than $25,000. The tax credit is 30% of the price with a $4,000 maximum. So if you buy a, uh, you buy a $10,000 EV, you're only getting 30% of that. This is one thing that I thought was kind of a bummer, especially for me owning an electric vehicle, that if I sell it to a private party, someone wants to buy it directly from me, they don't qualify for the credit. It has to be a dealer purchase only. Only through a dealer can you get this purchase, this credit, which I think it's kind of, kind of strange. I don't, I don't know why they did that. The income limits have gone down a little bit. So for a joint household, $150,000, less than $150,000. Head of household, $112,500. Individuals, $75,000. So these are the maximum incomes that you can have on your tax returns to qualify for the used EV tax credit. Now, you personally can only qualify for the credit once every three years. It's only once per vehicle, so once the vehicle's been claimed and it's resold again, it can't, it can't get the tax credit again, so it's only one time per vehicle. And then this credit can be applied by the dealership, so when you buy it from a dealership, they, if they're set up to be able to receive these tax credits, they can apply the tax credit and take it off the purchase price right there for you, so you don't have to wait to, to file your taxes. So this is going to be interesting to see how this plays out, especially to see if this number is going to increase because a lot of electric vehicles, they're, they're, they're higher cost vehicles. The only things I can think of right now for that, that's a $25,000 or less car, like maybe an older Nissan Leaf, an older Chevy Volt or Chevy Bolt, or uh, there's not a whole lot of used vehicles. There's no Teslas that are less than $25,000 right now. So it's really, this may not come into play. Now, I want to show you that if you're looking at a, at a car for around $25,000, there's probably a better option. I want to get, give you guys an example of a vehicle that's got a very good price with the incentive it's going to even be better than looking at buying a used one. This would be a great, great vehicle. So I want to look at this one because I'm actually looking at this car, at ordering this car for 2023 as like a vehicle that my son can drive. He's going to start driving in uh, next year. So I want to look at this car. This has 259 miles of range. So great range. If you're looking for just like a car just to get from A to B, a great commuter car, just running errands around town, this is a great kind of like starter electric vehicle just to get into electric vehicle, save all that money on gas. Look at this vehicle here. So I want to I point something out. In 2022, the MSRP of the Chevy Bolt EV, 32495 they've dropped the MSRP by $5,900 for 2023. 26595 You can get one if you just get the base, one LT, no options. And the base cut and, and a base color. You can choose like five colors in the base amount. Twenty six thousand five ninety five would be the MSRP if you just get the base Bolt EV in 2023, 2023 model. And if you get the tax credit of seventy five hundred dollars, that brings the, the 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 total price of this car down to nineteen thousand ninety five dollars for an electric vehicle that gets two hundred ninety five miles. Guys, that's a great deal. This is kind of a hidden gem, I think, in the electric vehicle world, just the fact that you're getting a tax credit, the lower MSRP for next year. So I'm really interested in this car. Not only is just like to, ha to have this, to be able to have like a kind of a, my, my son to drive, but also just to see kind of how it compares. I have two Teslas. Those are the only electric vehicles that I've had. But this is a compelling 
price, especially when you think of like the, the cheapest Tesla right now is like $47,000 as uh, a standard real wheel drive Model 3 for that would be a 2023 model. $47,000 versus, okay, it, it, yeah, we get the tax credit. So you're looking at 40,000 versus 19. Guys, that's a huge difference. And when you're just using it to commute in, to get from A to B, to run your errands, to go around town, you know, it, they may not be the best. It may not be the best vehicle as far as like long range travel because it does only charge up to 55 kilowatts per hour on fast charging. So it's going to take a little longer to charge if you're fast charging and on trips. But around town use, guys, this is a this is a steal for this thing. So that's really where this tax credit is going to be helpful for cars like this. So as far as if you have a Chevy Bolt right now, trying to sell it, it's going to be next to impossible because it makes zero sense to buy a used one because most the, the cheapest one around that, that I've been able to find in my local classified is like $25,000. Well, it could qualify for the tax credit to get it down to, you know, it might, it might get, get it down to $21,000, but you can get a brand new one for $19,095 if you qualify for the full tax credit. So this is a great example of a vehicle that qualifies for the tax credit and makes it really a great value to get into an electric car. Guys, well, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you found that information helpful, especially as you're shopping for an electric vehicle. You can see there's going to be some good deals coming out, and it will be worthwhile to look at a new EV, especially if you can get that full tax credit. Uh, be sure to take a look at the description down below. I have, I'm linking the website that I got all the, this information from, so you can kind of do your own research. It also has a list of the vehicles that are going to be eligible for, the, for this tax credit starting in 2023. Anyways, leave your comment down below. Interested to hear what your thoughts are on this tax credit. And uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.